right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here, Tony. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson. And now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion. One of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Kabul, Afghanistan. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? Play? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. What a punch. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Right hand punch to the clean. They are exchanging leather early. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there. And he just left himself wide open for that strike. 
very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow oh, for an opening down the transition. Nice scramble. Just out of range with that strike. Got the single collar tie. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range so he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Wow, huge head kick. Big knee to the body. You got him. Just missing on the uppercut there. It's such a fast leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, big punch land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Nice one, two there. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, nice inside kick. Ooh. Knee to the body. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Big punch lands for the He lands the head kick. as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Ramago Medoff gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh! Round two coming up next. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nurmago Medov's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice leg kick lands. 
Nice kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? A oh, little single collar tie there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Nice punch, man. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Because he's not committing to it. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Beautiful punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Ooh. Oh! Single collar tie now. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he might be out. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. Oh, big knee! Oh, he might be out. I see the color time now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. All right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Punch over the top. Some nice back and forth action here. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. I mean, he's cutting him down the size Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As a double leg oh, takedown. So the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Nurmago Medov has got full mount now. <laughs> 20 seconds to go round two. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's 
really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it. Beautiful kick. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. <laughs> Liver kick. If you take those kicks, oh, you to the body. Huge off. right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. Nurmago Medov's shot is blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Both his hands up. Caught that kick there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Unbelievable. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice right hand. Stuffs the tape down. No problem. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. He's gonna try to fall off to the side and pull his opponent up on top of him. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. And right on cue, there he is, falls to the side. Looks like his opponent's trying to work with the choke. Full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. He's throwing hard in the pocket. Comes through with a big knee. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nermago Medov gets the takedown here late in the round. Takedown here, he gets it. Final seconds of round three. He 
He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. A triangle, a triangle! Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Here now Bruce Buffer Ladies with the official the decision. Has called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, can you imagine what 